Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. In this age of social media, a lot of people think you can type anything you want on the internet and then just walk away from it. And um, if you put something on the internet and it's, I don't know, libelous, and someone who you libeled sees it, and they can prove that you did it, oh, they can come after you. And I don't know why it is. Some people would know that you couldn't write these things about somebody. They, they knew that somehow. But with social media, they think, well, that doesn't apply anymore. It's social media. I see people all the time on social media screaming and yelling about stuff. Well, you still got to be careful. You got to be careful. So here's a story sent to me by a lot of people, a lot of people. Today.com is one of the news outlets that ran it. Ariana Brockington writes, a man files a lawsuit against 27 women over malicious dating posts in a Facebook group. Now, there's a lot going on here, and uh, I'm not sure we know the answers to all the obvious questions, but we'll do what we can with this. Man's filed a lawsuit against 27 women, one man, Meta, and other social media companies for comments shared about him in a Facebook group called, Are We Dating the Same Guy? He's seeking over $75,000 in damages, and that, of course, I mentioned a couple days ago, is one of the things that you have to plead to indicate which court you belong in. If he's pleading under $75,000, he might not have gotten into this court, so it's not an exact amount he's looking for. On January 11th, the man filed the suit in the district court for the Northern District of Illinois, Eastern Division, claiming the defendants posted provably false and defamatory statements about their dating experiences with him in the Chicago subgroup of Are We Dating the Same Guy? Documents obtained by Today.com show. And there are subgroups of Are We Dating the Same Guy in different cities, Chicago and L.A. and New York. And the Are We Dating the Same Guy corporation and website, multiple divisions of Meta and Facebook, Patreon, and GoFundMe are also listed as defendants. So apparently Are We Dating the Same Guy is some sort of entity besides just a Facebook group. The man is suing with seven counts, including defamation, emotional distress, invasion of privacy, and civil liability. Now, those aren't really counts in that sense. Uh, He's alleging civil liability, and he's trying to get damages for that by saying he was defamed and he suffered emotional distress. However, he says the statements in the group were known to be untrue and have affected his job and reputation. He says the posts in the group led to personal humiliation, mental anguish, and suffering, emotional distress, stress, anxiety, lost earnings, and other financial loss. The lawsuit claims that Are We Dating the Same Guy has multiple subgroups across the country in Canada that allow users to anonymously dox, defame, and attack the moral character of men that they've met online, according to the suit. The group in Chicago has over 80,000 members. Now, here's the thing. The question is, what were they posting about him? Thousands of men have been potentially defamed by members of the group via these online publications and remain entirely unaware of the attacks on their character as a result of the social media group's private status and heavily moderated members list, the suit says. One woman named in the lawsuit posted about her encounters with this man after a meeting at an event in Chicago, according to the suit. She also allegedly shared a picture of him on the social media platform. He claims he contacted the defendants in December of last year to ask that the statements about their interactions be removed from the group. Uh, According to him, the post was removed and later uploaded again anonymously. So the man acknowledges that typically the posts in the group do not include the last names of the men. The suit included screenshots of multiple Facebook users inquiring if there was any red flags they should know about with this man. And they give his first name and his age. It's unclear if they gave his last name, but he says they used a photograph. He is seeking compensatory damages, punitive damages, and compensation for his attorney fees. The uh, Are We Dating the Same Guy Facebook groups are private and allow users to post red flag stories about past dates. The group began in New York in 2022, according to Vice. According to the publication, the groups have spread all over the world to other major cities like London, Uh, The article was originally published on today.com. So here's the thing. The headline is what got everyone's attention. Man files lawsuit against 27 women over malicious dating posts. So a lot of people go, wow, wow, 27 different women complained about this guy. No, well, 27 different women spoke about this guy or wrote about him. That's what his allegation is. 
He's not saying I dated 27 women and somehow they found out about each other. Now I'm suing them. No, 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 no. He's saying I did date one person who posted something about me and she shared a picture of him. So a woman goes on this group and says, I dated this guy. And then what it sounds like is a bunch of people piled on in that post talking about the guy. Now, we don't know whether any other women were dating him because if you think about it, if none of them were, the fact that are we dating the same guy would indicate that that post was put up in the wrong site. Or at least it got put up and nobody said, yeah, I'm dating him too. Because presumably the are we dating the same guy is supposed to find people who are dating other people and not telling you about it, right? Isn't that, I mean, am I, am I wrong there? <laughs> I think that's what that's all about. And so I've seen people post stuff on the internet that is real questionable, real questionable. And you have to understand, if you make a statement about somebody, you've got to be careful if you publish it. That is where someone else can see it. And you got to make sure that the statement is not actionable in the sense of defamation, which would be libel and slander. So if you speak about somebody, it's slander. If you write about them, it's libel. And um, if I say, boy, I met this person, they're stupid. They're stupid. Stupid's an insult. It's not really measurable. It's it's. It's pretty subjective, okay? How stupid is somebody? If I say, I met this person, and they're a convicted criminal. Really? That would imply they have a criminal conviction. Do they have a criminal conviction? If not, that's measurable, provable, and false. And so you got to be careful what you write about somebody. And I've seen stories pop up where somebody went on the internet and wrote something about somebody... And they didn't know where that line was, and they stepped way over it. So again, insults, okay. Factually false statements that harm the person, not okay. And now, when you post something anonymously on Facebook, um, I'm not a computer whiz, but my understanding is that a lot of that stuff is still trackable. It's still trackable. So if this guy identified 27 people, 26 of whom are not the woman who posted the comment about him originally, but 26 of whom apparently piled on. The question then is, what did they say? And it does not give examples here of what would be in the lawsuit from those screenshots to indicate what they said about him. But a good lawyer is going to look at this and go, okay, you can't, you can't go after people who simply insulted you or said unnice things about you unless... They're measurable and objectively false and harm you, okay? So, you know, if you said, hey, hey this guy's a trillionaire, well, I, I wouldn't really hurt you to be told that you're rich when you're not. Um, but like I said, to say something like, no, he's a convicted criminal, you know, that would be wrong. Or if somebody posted and said, yeah, I went out with him also, and let me tell you about it. And if they made up a story about going out with him, that would be false also. And presumably that would hurt his reputation because the point of this group is to catch cheaters. And if a woman said, I dated him when she didn't, I believe that'd be actionable here. I believe it would be. So it'll be curious, as we like to say sometimes, to see what happens here. But again, the headline did throw a lot of people off because a lot of people assumed he's suing 27 different women he dated. They're going, wow, this guy's getting around, which (laughs) as several people pointed out to me, is the Streisand effect on some level. So there's a Facebook group out there, and it's got a bunch of people in it, and somebody posted something about him on it, which none of us had heard about, until he filed a lawsuit saying, look what was said about me on Facebook. Now everyone's aware of it. It's being picked up by every news organization on earth. And so, yeah, that's what you sign up for in a situation like this. So the man's lawsuit is going to proceed for now. We'll see what happens. But he's suing, along with the 27 women, one man, apparently a guy chimed in on this, uh, but also Meta, which is the parent company of Facebook, and other social media companies. So I'm not so sure about them because uh, we've talked before a little bit about how there are rules in place that protect um, media platforms and the Internet from 
posts made by other people. So Facebook is here and someone comes in and makes a post. Suing the parent company over here is difficult. Suing the person who made the post, that's easy. That's easy. So we'll see what happens. But again, from today.com, man files lawsuit against 27 women over malicious dating posts in Facebook group. Ariana Brockington wrote that for today.com. Questions or comments? Put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Real education starts when you realize that life is wild and you know nothing about it.